we are getting started with the IOC show. We're live. Okay. Right? We're live? Yeah, we're live. Awesome. There. There you go. We're on camera. Hi, everyone. This is the IOT show. I'm Olivia, your host. We are live from Austin, and we are hosted at this great uh, social event, part of the Austin 25, um, you know, AGI Foundation event. And uh, like, we're starting with Pikesh. Pikesh, how are you, man? Hey, good. Uh, I know, you know, this conference has been quite lively. Yeah. Um, I'm solving a problem in the edge space. Okay. So uh, I got to meet a lot of people today uh, in the in the who are developing the edge chips. Okay. So so I can't ask for more. It's, it's an exciting day. Definitely. So you'll tell me a bit more about yourself, right? You're addressing. Well, you're actually a customer of Edge. You're looking for how you can bring compute to some very specific scenarios. Yeah. That are to be run up there in the sky in space. When you say the space, you, you mean the space, right? That's space, space. Okay. Not not the uh, spaces, uh, space modeling. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm Vikash. I'm, I'm uh, uh, trying to build a service okay. uh, that will produce some real-time insights mm -hmm. by looking at satellite imagery okay. um, and uh, right at the edge. Uh, traditionally, all the data has to be downloaded from the satellites mm -hmm. um, and then processed using traditional convolutional neural networks yeah. and other uh, data science approaches to extract some insights from them. But what's happening now is very exciting. Like uh, uh, there is this huge uh, move towards transformation models, transformer-based models. Okay. Um, and uh, even though they are complicated compared to CNNs, uh, uh, we are trying to use them to uh, generate insights right at the edge without downloading the data from the satellite to the ground stations and to the cloud. Yeah, okay. yeah so that's an exciting space to be right now. It is, right? And, and it feels to me that it's changing really fast, right? It's evolving really fast. You have the hardware technology evolving really fast. You have, we had some interesting talks today about innovation in the, in the domain of optimizing models, making them smaller, making them more efficient Yes. for them to run at the edge. Yeah. Um, and, and so that's, that's to me, super exciting. How do you perceive that? That's an excellent uh, observation because uh, there are so many, uh, there are two to three industries converging right now. Mm -hmm. So one is the um, uh, transformer-based models, which is a change from the convolution neural network. So that's one industry. The second industry is the um, is these uh, edge networks. Okay. Traditionally, everything used to happen in the cloud, uh, but there is a lot of a uh, lot of uh, expenses in transferring the data from the edge to the cloud to do the centralized processing, right? So that now the now the consensus is to move the processing to the edge. Yeah. Um, and uh, added to that, there is this uh, demand from defense, from the DODs of the world and other commercial uh, companies to, to process the data right at the edge so that uh, 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 they can take advantage of the AI uh, advancements. Yes. So, yes. so these three things are converging right now. Yeah, yeah. Right? Even the edge chips hardware is getting, uh, 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 is getting an upgrade in terms of um, uh, processing power, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of getting um, uh, the energy from the sun in, yep. in, 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 in transferring that into power and uh, making it radiation hard, right? So I think a short answer to your question is convergence of this industry, all these three patterns is really making uh, founders like me look at solutions where Edge processing is is the answer yeah. because it enables autonomous uh, autonomous decision making yeah. Yeah. right at the edge. It may not be hundred percent possible because the power is limited at the edge. So not all crunching of numbers may be possible, but I can make an object like a satellite autonomous mm -hmm. uh, in terms of making decisions with a human in the loop. I believe I believe that a human should always be in the loop. Um, uh, to take critical decisions. I agree. Uh, right? But there there might not be human in the space where the data is collected and analyzed, right? That's a great question. So the way that happens is there are insights that are generated at the edge okay. and, and that that feeds into that casting system of the satellite, okay. which also alerts the people on the ground mm -hmm. and presents them with enough data in a very gotcha. efficient manner so that they can say yes or no for a certain action to happen. 
Uh, right. Right. So, so okay. that's how I want to keep people, a uh, person in the loop, a human yeah, in the loop. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So the the uh, the show is called the IoT show, and my perspective that IoT will power edge AI in many ways, right? Because you need to have the connectivity to the sensors. Yeah. You need to be able to collect the data. Edge AI will analyze the data and render it, and and so IoT is definitely part of that story. Yeah. You are involved in projects that are related to space. Yes. Do you see IoT technology being pervasive up there in space as well? Well, uh, I want to provide vision to the satellite. Okay. So uh, that being the vision, the way I would materialize it is using the IoT sensors in terms of cameras. Mm -hmm. Right now, the cameras are pointed towards the Earth. Okay. Um, but I envision a near-term future mm -hmm. where if I rotate the camera and point that toward the orbit, um, I should be able to monitor the space debris. Okay. So that uh, using that information, I should be able to autonomously navigate a satellite without getting hit by the debris in the orbit. Okay. So yep. there are 7,000 satellites right now, uh -huh. active satellites right now, uh, with 40,000 debris. Uh, you can imagine that, but but the, the space is huge. The forty thousand yeah. degree is lo like way apart from the satellite. Okay. But then you should still be able to navigate once you see one. Yep. So right. so that's the yeah. so the, direct relationship to IoT definitely because you will have to have control yeah. and command exactly in an autonomous way. So definitely links. You're just confirming that. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. Well, I appreciate your time, and uh, you know we we definitely will want people to uh, we'll add some links and so on afterwards there. Yeah, yeah. To learn absolutely. more about what you're doing. Um, what do you think of the event here? What's your feeling? Um, no, I, um, so I, as a founder, uh, I needed uh, an avenue to connect with uh, the vendors, uh, the fellow founders, okay. and people uh, and large companies who are actually venturing into uh, IoT spaces. Okay. So I think I got an opportunity to meet a lot of them today. Uh, uh, many people were very uh, collaborative and very, uh, uh, they're offering their help to collaborate with me. So that's very encouraging. Okay. Uh, that's from a founder's that's awesome. perspective. Yeah. I think that was the objective. So we're learning, we're yeah. connecting, we're networking. That's perfect. Yeah. So, awesome. well, let's do that. You yeah. Know? Thanks all for coming. Thank you. Have a good one. Everyone, thanks for tuning in.